Alright, hey YouTube, I'm back. Um, before I start my video and show off the blaster I have for you guys today, um, I'd like to do something a little different and, uh, well, I really gotta say thanks to you guys. Uh, you all, my subscribers, I really, it's been a little over two months and I already have well over a hundred people following me. And you guys, really, I love your support and I love what you guys are doing and helping me out with my channel and whatever you guys have done for me. And I'm gonna be doing, and please just keep coming back and obviously subscribing. I love you guys, how you guys just, um, stay on my channel and I love your support and believe me when I say I'm only getting started here. I got so much more to show you guys and so much more projects planned and I really love doing this. So alright, so I think I'm gonna get started into this uh this buster review. Alright, so um if you see by the title of this video and I don't know I don't know what usually do this, but I did do the um write up video before I've actually shown off this blaster. This is my own design completely. It's actually well I shouldn't say completely. This was based on Nerf Haven. There's quite a few people who have done pistol snaps, but I, um, this is my own style design. I really like this because I, I like, I sort of prefer pistols in a lot of situations better than bigger guns just because they're more fun to use. Um, this has, starting from the back, it has a four inch, uh, w wooden oak handle. It has a, uh, just pull back plunger rub, but it has a f uh, full four, not full, it has four inches of draw, which is great for something this size. Um, if I, for comparison, one sec, I get grab a night finder. This is the, uh, just a regular night finder with a breech on it that, um, God Slayer made for me. But, um, this with its barrel on is only slightly longer, if you can see in comparison to a night finder. Yet this hits probably 10 to 20 feet greater ranges. So, although I love night finders and Nerf pistols. This is really just an amazing blaster. Um, so starting from the back, again, um, it's got four inches of draw. It uses exactly one half of a K26. It's got a nice uh, wooden handle, and literally everything is mechanically fastened. I don't think I used any hot glue on this, other than to um, get the seal going on this one. This is my first of two. I will be showing my second one in another video because I do have some more plans for that one with a paint job some other stuff, but I haven't done all that yet, so I expect another video, but, um, here's the trigger, it, uh, it's catching very well, um, ranges, it's probably in the 90, around 90 feet, um, it's, that's actually, I, I consider it to be really, really good for a pistol, seal is not that great on this one, on my other one, it's much better, um, this was sort of the prototype, not really, I mean, I had the d design drawn out for both of them, um, as I normally do before I have start up a homemade project. I draw out my design. I don't just free I don't just wing it like some other people have done. Although that tends to work. Actually it's sometimes better than this one because I get so caught up in following my own directions that I take a lot of time. But um alright so it shoots streamlines probably actually less far than um Stefan's but this is I use a seven inch barrel with I don't use speed loaders or anything in this. Um seven inches I know there's somewhere floating around there's a formula to get the uh exact barrel length. I didn't use it on this one. I don't know why. I just, I looked at seven inches and it, it sort of looks nice on this. It's not too short, not too long, but, um, here's a shot. I'm gonna fire it once. I don't know if the camera could pick up that bolt, but these, these shoot pretty hard. That was a very tight fitting dart. It was a brand, it was a brand new streamline, so I don't, I don't that hits down the floor. <laughs> um, that was a brand new dart, so I don't know how, uh, that compared, but here's a, uh, Here's the, another second barrel, and here's a uh, Stefan loading in. Stefan's actually seemed to get better ranges with this, and um, maybe that was just the darts I tested with. But um, so it, it's this is full draw or full. Um, it's primed right and ready to go. Um, but it's still fairly small, and it fits in a tack vest, even cocked. It'll fit in there, and it won't get in your way any more than a Maverick or any other larger pistol will. But here's a uh, second shot. And you could hear that hit my wooden door, but that this thing is crazy powerful. It um actually I have a target taped to my door and I just ripped it off. So I'm gonna need to print out another one. But this is crazy. I love these things. I'm gonna load up another shot for you guys. But um I'm gonna put my uh a link to my how to video and if you haven't seen that already, it'll be somewhere right here in the video. Um if you can click on the link. Um I see other people's by the way, snap pistols and They've used smaller L brackets, and I wanted it. I mean, I don't normally pad it with the um, E tape. I might try that on my other one, but I really like the look. Actually, I had smaller ones lying around, but I really like the look the big one has on it. 
And actually, I feel like it makes this blaster itself look a lot smaller, just in comparison by having a larger trigger. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But here's a, here's a second shot. And this thing is really, really loud. Um, maybe it's just it's hitting the door, but the, uh, the blaster has a fairly good seal. Um, I think I described a lot of its actual design in the um, how-to video, but the seal again. It's actually pushing my hand off the front end of the plunger. But um, anyways, uh, expect another video on my second one after it's painted and I have the uh, cocking ready. Um, I'm actually out of K26 springs right now. I need to order a few more. Uh, I've been used up all of mine. I counted yesterday. I have nine homemade so far in the last month or so. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be making more, but I do need to, to get more springs so I can, before I can do any more homemades. But I will probably the next video I do will be on my vigil one because I have a stock one and the modded one. The modded one, at first I had it and it was modded. And it was like oh it's shooting them. And it was it wasn't they weren't shooting straight when they came out, so the ranges weren't great. But I actually tweaked that a little bit. Um, nothing different than the video. I just screwed it up when I put it back together. And I, um, the, the ranges are ridiculous, and that thing is bouncing all over the place. So I'm going to probably do that next video. Um, so, uh, yeah. Here will be one last shot, probably right at the camera. Hopefully I don't knock it over, because I've done that a few times already. Um, just streamlined this time. Um, but... So if anyone... There will be a link in the description to uh, how to make one of these blasters. I believe each one of these, not including the spring, was like five bucks itself. But other than that, these were like probably ten dollars in PVC and clothespin and everything um, together. So it was, it's pretty nice. Um, so here's one last shot before I turn on the camera uh, before I close this down. But uh, all right, thanks for watching.